Hi Sagittarius, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your reading for September. Now typically my readings are love readings. We'll see whatever comes up. You know a lot of times it's not love that comes up. This is for Sagittarius. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus and my stomach just growled so you may hear that on the video. <laughs> I do apologize. Um, anyway. Sagittarius. Mm. It's safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. You know, my stomach is making all kinds of noises. It hasn't been doing that. It started doing it when I started shuffling. So I'm wondering if you guys are having stomach issues. It's crazy. And it's not like I'm hungry. So I'm not sure what's going on. I'm wondering if you guys are having um, issues with your bowels or your stomach or eating or digesting or nervousness even. <sighs> Reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. It's safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. Someone from your past is returning to your life. Now, this does. This could be even a friend, okay? This could be a parent that you've been estranged from. This could be anybody this could even be a past life connection that you haven't met in this lifetime so keep an open mind okay Well, you guys are highly intuitive at this time. Trust your intuition. You may be using silence to gain power. It's like you guys are very... Um, open to receiving messages. The thing is, is the messages are coming to you. And I think you're keeping them to yourselves. You know, you guys are, oh God, what's the word? It's like you are, well, a seer? Is that what it's called? A seer? Oh, my stomach. Oh, I hope you guys can't hear that. That's crazy. And I only ate a little while ago. Mm. Intuition is big, big. So whatever, whatever your intuition is telling you, your inner guide, your gut, listen to it. Okay, because you guys are receiving clarity like never before. Okay, it's like the messages are being delivered right to you. And it's like you don't even have to ask. I mean, the messages are coming. All right, you are totally receiving communication from your higher self. Okay, or from the universe or whatever. Okay, so really, really pay attention to the messages that you're receiving. You could be going through some sort of awakening. I also need to tell you that your power to manifest at this time is is very, well, vibrant. <laughs> Put it that way. You have the power to manifest whatever you want at this time. Okay. It's like you guys are ascending, okay? Because this is ungrounded as well. You guys are, are working at a very at a higher level in September. It's like, I can't even think, I can't even speak hardly. I mean, that's how, and you may not, because remember I said silence, the word silence came up. It's like, I see, I feel the silence coming from you. I think that you are receiving downloads or uploads or whatever you want to call it. You guys are receiving some sort of, oh God, 
it's like it's like an ascension it's an awakening it's if you are not grounded you're not grounded and it's okay sometimes to be not grounded as you are evolving okay so I, you guys are absolutely going through a period of 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 transformation and i don't even need a transformation card to see this i mean it's it's clear that that you guys are becoming masters of something um Hmm. Okay, let me get this focused in. Now, you guys are might be feeling a little unbalanced, okay? And things may feel like it's a little extreme because you are receiving so much information so fast. You know, I feel like without you even asking, the universe is providing for you. And it may be a little overwhelming. And what's happening is, is you are evolving. And sometimes we, we neglect to see that we're evolving and we put the, you know, we put the, the brake on, okay? So, so, you know, just, I, I'm here to tell you that what is happening is happening for a reason. Maybe you need to take a time to to recuperate and take time to rest as you are being upgraded, okay? Because that's what's happening here. You are. You're going through some, some sort of spiritual upgrade or whatever you want to call it. And I feel like what's happening is, is you're becoming more consciously awake. You are. This is making conscious changes to release toxins, release the past, release baggage, to release heaviness. It's, a, it's a, like a card of personal freedom. And it's where you step outside of that comfort zone and you remove the obstacles. The universe is here and they are bringing you something much better. They're clearing away things that have held you back for so long and it's 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 overwhelming for you and it's overwhelming for me to even speak it to you because that's how it is it's just like you know it's like a big sigh it's it's, it's it is it's much it's a lot okay I, I, whatever is happening is 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 it may not seem like it's logical but it is it's very logical it's something that is 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 helping you to become more intelligently aware of your surroundings and of life and your powers, okay? Um, so just, I'm sorry that, I mean, I have to go with my feelings. And if I didn't, you know, they wouldn't trust me to do this. So I just, I just go with it. Um, you guys, you guys are, are, the old you is dying, Okay. And so, and sometimes that's scary, okay? Sometimes, you know, it's, it's fearful to allow that to happen. So I feel like at this point, you know, you've stayed in your comfort zone for long enough. And, and now, you, now it's time to step out, whether you like it or not. You are being given a new opportunity for something more um, realistic, Okay, more secure for you. Okay, so this is really, really, really good. Um, even though you are in reverse here, this this just means that you may be a little uncomfortable with these changes. I think that you know you may not understand why all this is happening, and and in some instances you might try to escape this change, but I don't think you can. Because I feel like the universe is is loving you and they are removing things from your life that don't serve you anymore and they're upgrading you to a much higher level. It's almost like you are becoming some sort of uh, teacher, you know, a spiritual teacher or a spiritual leader or something like that. You're going through an awakening of some sort and it's massive. It's massive. And you may not know that's what's happening, but that is what's happening. You're receiving so much clarity that it's that it's it's beautiful. It's unbelievable. Um, and you're probably feeling, you know, even though it's a little overwhelming, 
you also feel a feeling of tranquility, okay? Yeah, it's a little overwhelming. It seems like this is extremely crazy, you know? It's like, man, there's there's ups and there's highs and lows, ups and downs, you know? When you're up, you're up, and when you're down, you're down. But I think that there's a there is a, a feeling of calmness and tranquility here, even though things are happening that are kind of unreal, okay? Um Take all the time you need to to rest during this time because as you are being upgraded, you will need to rest. As you are releasing the old baggage, the past, you will, and becoming more conscious, you will need to rest. So just take that as advice. Um, you are ungrounded at this time, and that's okay once in a while. It is okay because in order for you to you know, receive those messages, sometimes you, you need to be, okay? Um, yeah, some of you are, are still clinging to the past, and that's why this is reversed. You're still clinging to the memories. You're clinging to who you used to be, because that's what you know, and that's what we all do. So don't, don't let that hinder your involvement, okay? Have some patience with yourself. It's okay. It's okay to cling to your past because it's sometimes, you know, it's it's scary to go down that new road. There's a there's a feeling of of not enjoying where you're at. You know, I feel like you're, you may not feel like you're very abundant. You may not, and you may not be a very abundant at this time. But it's going to change, okay? It is going to change. You may feel like you are down in the dumps. You may feel like you don't have much to offer. You may feel like um, maybe you feel like, or you're letting your own, you're letting insecurities hold you back. This is insecure, and this is insecure. Insecurities from your past memories, past whatever, hinder your progress. Mm, power struggles, conflict. You are definitely going back and forth between the past and the present. You may not, you know, you, there is insecurity here. It's like you may not know what, what you're worth or even where you are at, at this point. There's a, there is some unbalanced emotions here. Yeah, it's like you guys have lost your focus and your concentration And you can't see the future, and that's a problem. You know, maybe you guys need to come up with a plan. You know, try to set goals for the future. It's like there's no there's no plan. And when you don't have a plan, sometimes that doesn't work out. It's not practical. So it feels like somebody very insecure i mean this is these are very insecure because there's no plan there's no no abundance but i really feel like this is internal i think that you've been blocking this is a blockage this change because the past is so comfortable comfortable past and this is your involvement which you've been blocking but the universe is trying to bring you something more secure because the past is insecure it brought insecurities to you it made you unbalanced and unharmonious. Hmm. 
you know, it's, I think that, that it, it's time to take action. Action is being taken, whether you're taking it or the universe is taking it or you both are. Yeah, fast movement. Things are happening really, really, really fast for you this month. You could be receiving communication from somebody. Somebody could be flying right into your life. Quickly. Offering you love. There could be some passion involved here. This could be somebody from your past that you need to forgive. You know, you guys have been through a difficult time. But I think that difficult time is just about over and we've talked about this. Changes are happening really, really, really fast for you. Maybe, maybe it's time for you to allow this change to happen. Take that guard down. It is safe for you to love. It's safe for you to open up. It's safe for you to allow this change. These can be the rods of love as well. And this is, this is somebody coming in pretty quickly, both of these cards. But this is a card of forgiveness. It's, and this is also a card of healing in reverse. It's a card of... My mind keeps going blank and I don't know why. It's crazy. Because that's what's going on with you guys. It's like there's this too much. There, this is this is very. I think that you guys are going through something very profound, profound change. But this three of swords is it's the end of a difficult time, if you allow it. You don't hang on to the hurt. You don't hang on to the past, which you guys have been clinging to the past. Act now. Think later. forward movement towards the light there is an opportunity for love here and security stability and abundance perhaps with somebody that you've been with before but you have to open up your heart you have to allow this and you have to stop teetering back and forth with the temperance card in the five of wands there's a lot of power struggles you know maybe whoever this person is has made a conscious change as well with this ten of wands reversed maybe this reconciliation whoever it is maybe they've released something maybe you both have you could be dealing with any sign, because they're all here. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. They're all here. Whatever is happening, is happening quickly and profoundly. And your intuition is giving you all the answers, even if you don't ask for them. They're here, they're coming Life is changing and you are being asked to open your heart and allow it to happen. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. What is the highest energy of all? Love. Love for, from yourself. Love from the universe. And love from others. Be open to receiving love from every 
direction. That is the ultimate abundance. And that is what you're being offered. Forgive yourself for any past mistakes. We all go through times when we don't act with integrity. But the time that matters is right now. It's time to complete that cycle of mental turmoil. It's time for you to free yourself from betrayal, from deception, from deceit, from staying trapped in your own prison. It's time to be for you to become alive again. It's time for you to complete that difficult phase of your life it's the end it's the end of the suffering that you have been through and it's because you guys take the action to let yourselves evolve after holding on to what you've known for so long. The difficult period in your life is just about over. Make sure that you are grateful. Because the more grateful you are, for the tough lessons even, the more reward you will get. You are receiving some reward for your suffering. You are. This is the suffering. You are going to receive a reward. But remember to be grateful. Even for the hard lessons. Because they made you stronger. The struggles. The conflicts. the arguments, the family problems, the relationships that didn't work out, they all taught you something. They taught you to believe in yourself. And I feel like you went through a period of not believing in yourself, not listening to your inner guide, And now you know that you should have. And now you're going to. It feels like you guys had given up hope. You'd lost your ambition, your drive, your passion, your power, your strength. your concentration, your focus. But now you're starting to love yourself again. You're starting to come back around. And you may be getting some help from somebody. Maybe somebody's coming in and they're offering you emotional support. Not to mention your psychic abilities are becoming more and more prominent with each passing day. And it feels as though you guys are tearing down that, that wall. 
you're taking off that mask and you're seeing things absolutely 100% clearly. Whereas before you may have been trying to escape right reality, maybe you were involved in a situation that was unhealthy just because you didn't want to be alone. I mean, I see that too. But I feel as though right now you may be a little emotionally guarded but I feel like you do have emotional support from somebody and you could be receiving an offer of love if this if this is about love somebody that will appreciate you and put in effort and wants to work with you but you're going to have to take a risk. You're going to have to fly. It is time for you to fly. It's time for a fresh new start. A new beginning, Sagittarius. This is also the beginning of a brand new spiritual journey. So I feel like, as I've already said, there's an opportunity for a... A new beginning after a very, very difficult period. Like rock bottom. Somebody has hit rock bottom and just about given up. And it's like the universe says, no, no, no. That was your awakening. Here's your reward. A new solid, stable opportunity. That's long term. So I feel as though for some of you, this is in regards to your job. For some of you, this is in regards to a relationship. For some of you, this is in regards to whatever you want it to be in regards to. But there's an opportunity for a completion of one cycle in the beginning of a new life. So yeah, there's there's love here. There is love. There's self-love and there's probably an op an offer coming in from somebody else. Could be somebody that you have known before that didn't act in with integrity in the past, but somebody may have changed with that. So A lot of baggage is being released, and that's uncomfortable, okay? Because I see baggage a lot with the Ten of Wands and this, this Fool card. He only carries a little bag. He leaves the baggage behind. So, I, you know, if you guys are reconnecting with somebody from your past, keep in mind that you can't bring the past into the present. You can't cling to the, the past hurts. And that's why forgiveness. I see forgiveness is needed all over in this reading. There's forgiveness that is needed. Forgive yourself, forgive the other person, whatever. Forgiveness is needed here. So yeah, this is a this is a good month of transformation, and I don't even need a transformation card to see that. You guys are it's the end of a difficult period. It really, 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 really is. Okay? It absolutely is. It is. It's at the end of a difficult period. In which you guys, I think, had been really clinging to that difficult period because you've been in it for so long. You know, it's hard to let go of, of what you know. 10, 10, 10. Completion, completion, completion. New beginning. New beginning. New beginning. New beginning, new beginning, new beginning. So, yeah, you guys have... Ha have some new beginnings here. You have completions that bring new beginnings. But you cannot cling to the past. And you must follow your intuition. Mm, 
ascending. Remember I said you guys were going through an ascension. I knew you were. Keep going forward. The journey might be hard right now, but a great view awaits you. You most certainly can achieve your goal. However, you must continue forward through hard work and diligence. Do not give up. Even if it seems hard, keep going forward. Even if it sometimes seems that you are going up three steps and falling back two, you are still getting closer to your goal. Sometimes you may need to take smaller steps, but do not stop. Every step takes you closer to the peak of the mountain. And when you arrive, the view will be spectacular. It will be worth all of your hard effort. I got a little bit more to read, but I want to zoom this in. Keep going. Keep going. It's okay to stumble or fall down. Just don't stay down. Do not allow yourself to be limited by the beliefs of others or even by your own limiting beliefs or fears. Go beyond boundaries of self-imposed barriers. We already talked about this. That is a big problem for you guys. Self-imposed barriers. Wherever you are, buried in here, anywhere, somewhere. I don't know. It's buried now, but it was you reversed. That's yourself. That's a big mess, right? I'm going to keep reading. <sighs> Do not allow yourself to be limited by beliefs of others or even your own limited beliefs or fears. Go beyond boundaries or self-imposed barriers. Live passionately and courageously. Keep moving forward fearlessly. Speak up for yourself. Honor your truth. This isn't the time to be timid or hold back. Go forward gall gallantly with your banner of truth waving in the wind. You are a light bearer. For others you are a light bearer for others keep going do not let anybody including yourself bring you down when you arrive at the top of the mountain the view will be spectacular but it's going to take hard work to get there. Remember I said way back about building strength? This is what's going on here. Anyway, September looks good. As far as it being a reading about love, I can't confirm that. It's about you. Talk to you later.